Hello fellows and welcome to the first episode of Tiger's RC in Minecraft. We'll be starting our new Let's Play world right now. So let's name it very aptly after this series Tiger's RC in Minecraft. We will be playing on survival mode only in hard difficulty and the seed for this world is 443. I chose this seed because of a dual mob spawner near a witch hut that will make a perfect AFK spot. I showed it off in the trailer for this series. If you haven't seen that already, go check it out first. It's awesome. I'll have links down in the description. So, no cheats, no bonus chest, Generate structures is on, and it's just a default world. Let's get this thing started. Here we are. Great spawn point. So, as I collect some wood, I'm going to explain a few things about this series. First of all, for my first day, I will be mainly following my own tiger tip for how to survive your first day getting at least 11 wood and making tools from that so that's going to be the way I start out I will modify it ever so slightly because there's a village nearby but it should be pretty much the same I would also like to have some very very high quality episodes in this series for instance I will not spend an entire episode just running around and strafing a zombie because that would be a very bad episode. I will rather have at least a semi-large project that gets completed every single episode or done a lot on every single episode so that each episode will be very very interesting and fun to watch. That's another thing that I would like to do is have a lot of fun doing this because that's really why I'm doing it. I don't I don't want any money from this. It's not worth it for that. So I just want to enjoy making videos, showing you guys what I do in my world. What I do enjoy and find fun is redstone. Redstone and architecture. So for a lot of episodes, I'll be making either a redstone build or an aesthetic build or both so that um, something can be done automatically and after it's been able to be done automatically I can make it look good which is exactly what we'll be doing this episode I would like to make by the end of this episode something that I would like to call the pounder of days it will require some slime balls as well as a lot of redstone and some glowstone because it is going to count the number of days that we play in this world of course this is only the prototype version version 1.0 and eventually we'll be upgrading it to do this completely automatically instead of my having to press a button every day but for now, it will do pretty nicely. I'll do a news flash to fill you in on getting most of the resources. Okay, save the villagers. Make myself safe by stealing one of their doors. And putting it in my own house. Make a crafting table. Make a pickaxe. Mine some stone. Make stone tools. Make stone pickaxe and a stone sword. And make some bread. Eat the bread. Kill some of the derpy birds that happen to be roaming around. And the derpy sheep. And make a bed. make a chest to store all my stuff 
look at the beautiful sunset, and catch some chickens. Pause news flash. So we're going to be building the Pounder of Days in the air above this little peninsula here. Just about there in the air. About that high so that we can see it pretty clearly if we are all the way over this way. We've got the witch hut there and if we go over to that tree over there that's where our double spawner is. But right around here is what I really came out here for. Yep, right there. You can see it. That's a ravine. Startup news flash. Okay, gonna kill some zombies down in this ravine. Mine some coal. Even better, mine some iron. Chop down some more wood. Find some ink sacks. Kill a skeleton very, very carefully. Make some furnaces so that we can get some smelting done. And pause the news flash. The middle of the night on the third day, and it looks like the creepers are out prowling. Unfortunately, there are no slimes because I'll be needing those for the pounder of days, but I am going to quickly show you what I've been up to down here. Haven't gotten to the walls right there, but I did light up the bottom, and I found something very interesting. But first things first, I've got plenty of iron. I got low enough to find gold, which I'm going to smelt, and I'm going to make my first suit of armor. Q newsflash. There we go. An armored tiger. I found another ravine that happens to have some redstone and gold that I mined out. Unfortunately, soon after that I died of starvation. That's sad. But then I went caving from some caves I found and found my first diamonds and a lot of them too. Plenty. There were enough for a pickaxe, an enchanting table, and then some other stuff too. So that makes me really, really happy. I used that to mine some obsidian. Very, very quickly, by the way make an enchanting table and a portal to the nether finished it up and lit it went down through found some pretty nice places defended it from all those evil ghasts mined some nether rack Got the glowstone that we need for our pounder of days. And then some more, just in case. Find some nether quartz and fought a ghast. This guy was really annoying, but kind of derpy for coming so close to him. I got his tear. Mind with a wooden pickaxe for the win. Got to level 30 made some bookshelves got a level 30 enchantment on my diamond pick finally found the slime that we needed and completely and totally killed him got a lot of slime from it too end newsflash Alrighty, so here we are, middle of day 10, and I think we're going to get started right over here. It's going to be facing this way, because eventually our main base is going to be over there near that witch hut. So we can just look over here and see how many days we've got. Two, one.
notch, you'll see what it's meant to do is it's meant to flip the place of that block. So every single time that I press it, it'll do that for this one and this the one that's going to go right here and the one that's going to go right here and the one that's going to go right here. Also this thing on the back will make it so that the first time that I press it only this one gets activated. The second time that I press it this one gets flipped back to here and the next one gets flipped out and then the next time I press it this one just gets flipped out. That way it will be able to count in binary how how much we've been in this world. So I'll just hook up a redstone torch like all right, actually let's do it proper. I'll put a redstone torch right there and then a lamp going on the side of this block. So as you can see, after I hit this enough, it moves back and the lamp turns off. But if I do it again, it turns back that way. So I'll quick make more, make more repeaters and we'll get this thing going. The original designer is a guy by the name of Star Wars Wii. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, his channel has some pretty awesome and interesting redstone concepts and designs. So I'll put links to the video that this is based off of and to his channel down in the description. Another thing worth mentioning about this design is that it was originally designed using the new slime blocks for Minecraft 1.8 in the snapshots. However, we're not playing in the snapshots because I don't really like the snapshots. And so um, I did a redesign. The version that uses the snapshots is much smaller and more efficient in general, but we can't use the slime blocks. So I had to make it larger and work in Minecraft 1.7. We have got five redstone lamps like that and this is zero. So whenever a redstone lamp is off or on, it's worth zero. We hit this button and nothing happens. That's not good. Yeah, actually, I don't need this piston. I don't need this thing out of here at all. I just need dust there. So, yeah, we can hook up a button down below. But basically, when you hit the button, it toggles this one. So this one's off. This one is worth one. This means that we're at one. So for each one of these redstone lamps, it's worth a different digit. And when you add them all together, you get the number that you're looking for. So right now we're at one. The second one is worth two. The third one's worth four. The fifth one's worth eight. And, or the fourth one's worth eight. And the fifth one's worth 16. So right now we're at one. Now we're at two. Now we're at three because two plus one equals three. And now we're at four because that one's worth four. The pounder of days version 1.0 is complete as of episode 1.
Yes. Sun is setting on day 11, and the pounder of days is raring to go. Alrighty, I'm done decorating it. I moved the button to the bottom right, and I made it so that all of the lamps that are on are the ones that you count. So here it is, end of day 15. Tell me what you think of the look of the pounder of days. I will eventually change it when I get more resources to be something a little bit more impressive, but for now this will do. Please tell me what you think of the idea of counting the total number of days that we play in Minecraft. I think it's kind of neat, but thank you so much for watching, and until next time, fellows. So long!